Energy Centre and Centro Studio Galileo with the United Nations have organised an important networking event to introduce their European meeting about the latest technologies in renewable energies. I would like to thank Edinburgh Napier University for hosting this magnificent dinner in this very beautiful historic setting. A wonderful introduction to our 14th European Conference in Renewable Energy taking place. Renewable energy is uh, also very used in um, the refrigerating uh, area. Uh, first, we are working a lot on heat pumps. Heat pumps are a kind of uh, refrigerating systems. It is the same kind of system. Then, thus, we are working on heat pumps and uh, improving the, the coefficient of performance of heat pumps. We also work on solar refrigeration. To get a low carbon building, you need to design the building better, you need to increase the efficiency of the machines in it, and then you need to run it as much as possible on clean renewable energy. The event organised by the European Energy Centre and Centro Studio Galileo with the United Nations took place on the 21st of January at Edinburgh Heriot Watt University. Ladies and gentlemen, as Director of the European Energy Centre, EEC, I'd like to thank you all for participating to the 14th European Conference on the latest technology in renewable energy applications in heating and cooling. As you know, the European Energy Center with Centro Studio Galileo have been promoting best practice in renewable, renewable energy through the 300 training courses we run annually at our conferences on green technologies. We have created a workforce expert in renewable energy sector. Over the past decade, we have European Energy Center with whom the United Nations Environment Program is, is dealing with for a number of years now has been doing a very valuable work in field of uh, in the past uh, refrigeration and air conditioning, uh, the new uh, refrigerants which are not ozone depleting, new refrigerants which are climate friendly and now they are entering into the, uh, into the renewable energy field which seems to be a logical so we are not here only to talk about what more and, policies and are needed. we are now, but at also we are going to talk about certain new gaps which exist, so that this tipping point concludes to a logical result. And one of the gaps is definitely human resource development, on which the training programs which Paolo Bioni talked about are so important, not only in the developed countries, but also in the developed countries.